اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوریبوڈی ایم ویلکم ٹو ٹوڈیز کلاس ای کوئک ریمائنڈر ای ہوپ ایوریبوڈی ہیز دیر ویڈیوز آف دیر ہیڈز کورڈ اینڈ ہیو دن دیر وزو اینڈ آر ریڈی سٹنگ ان نائس کوائٹ پیسفل پلیس ریڈی فور ٹوڈیز کلاس ان شاء اللہ سو وی ایر گن ٹو موو اسٹریٹ آن ٹو ایم ون آف آر اسٹوڈنٹس پلیز سو دیٹ وی کین اسٹارٹ وتھ آر دعا فار ٹوڈے ایٹس ایم 1203 السلام علیکم ان 1203 ہاؤ ار یو وعلیکم السلام ہاؤ ار یو گڈ ہاؤ ار یو ایم فائن الحمدللہ ام وڈ یو لائک ٹو ریڈ دی دعا یور سیلف اور شل آئی گائیڈ یو تھرو ایم وڈ لائک ٹو ریڈ ات مائی سیلف اوکے اوف یو گو اللهم انی اسالک علما نافیا And the translation? Oh Allah. Oh Allah, I ask you for beneficial knowledge. Excellent. Well done. That was beautifully recited. That was very good. There were a couple of little things. Um, you elongated the inni a little bit. There's no, um, uh, it's not a ya mother here. It's a blank ya. So we just needed to make that smaller. So once behind me, okay? Allahumma inni. اللهم إني أسألك أسألك علما نافعا علما نافعا Excellent. Well done. جزاكم الله N1203 and inshallah we'll speak to you later. Allah Hafiz. Okay. Excellent. So lots of people are still entering the class. but um, I'm going to continue with today's lesson. Um, today we're going to again be looking at some new miscellaneous rules, which you've been doing this week as well. So today, general rules which you need to know for correct recitation. Um, they don't come under any specific guideline, it's just miscellaneous. That means different types of rules, okay? So we're going to start now with the first rule of today, which is Hamza on Val. Okay, I'm going to read through and then we're going to have some student participants to recite. So, sometimes Hamza Mutaharik, which means Hamza with a stroke on it, appears on a vowel either with a dhamma or with a tanween. Okay, In such cases, only the stroke harakat of Hamza will be pronounced, ignoring the vowel altogether. Right? And if you remember... We have already looked at this rule and we've explained to you that when a Hamza is on top of a wow, then you have to treat the Hamza, you have to treat the wow as a chair, just supporting the Hamza. The Hamza is the only thing that will speak, the only sound that you will hear. You will not hear the sound of the wow. Okay, so we ignore the wow and we just recite the Hamza with the stroke on top, whether it's a Dhamma or a Dhanveen. Okay. Remember when we said a tanween? A dhamma tain? Tanween? Or dhamma. Okay? So, it's very straightforward. It's not a difficult rule to learn. Um, you just have to. It's just something you will need to remember. So, if we have our first student for our recitation, please. Who do you say yet? Yeah, it's A1110. Assalamu alaikum, A1110. Assalamu alaikum. How are you today? Fine. Good, Alhamdulillah. You having a good day in school today? Yes. Excellent, well done. So if we start from here, please. First word. Yabdu da. Do you want to have another go? Look at each each letter. So do this first. That was first section was fine. Yab. What's this next letter? Yab da u. Excellent. Well done. You corrected it yourself. You needed to make sure you did the da separately and the hamza with the dhamma on top separately as well. Yabda'u. Yabda'u. Excellent. Next one. Ab-ab-a-una. Beautiful. Well done. You excellent. You, you looked at the um, 
vertical fata there, you elongated that, you looked at the madatus um kabira kabira sorry there, you elongated that for four seconds, you made sure you read the hamza and you saw the alif mother as well. So you looked at all of the rules really, really carefully and you recited it very nicely. Once more please. Abauna. Very nice. Next one. Im ru un. Nice. Well done. Once more, a little bit faster. Im ru un. Nice. Good. Well done. Next one. Aulia very nice, mashallah. That was lovely. You you elongated this for the full four seconds and this for the three seconds. So that was really good. You remembered to do that, mashallah. Well done. Next one. Yata fayyau. Right. Once more, be careful with this last letter. Once more. Yata fayyau. Well done. You elongated it the first time, but the second time you did it for the one beat, the one second. So that was really good. Next one. Well done. Beautiful. Well done. That was very nice recitation, A triple zero, triple one zero. Sorry. That was very nice. Whenever you, there was a little mistake, you corrected it yourself. That's fine. We all make mistakes. Even adults make mistakes in recitation sometimes, but the main important thing is to Recognize the mistake when you say it loudly and you correct it yourself. So that was really good, mashallah. Well done. Excellent. Jazakumullah for your help. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Thank you. So we have our next student, please. Hello. Hello. Are you still on the line? Okay, one yes. second. Um, sorry, one second. We just got a bit of a technical issue. One second. Here we go. Okay. Um, discipline in charge, are you there? Yes, I'm here. That's not good. Okay. Could we have our next student, please? Yeah, it's N1209. Wa alaikum asalam, N1209. How are you? Good. Excellent. Well done. You understanding today's lesson? Yes. Excellent. Good. So do you want to start then, please, with the next line? First word over here. Nasha un. OK, once more, look carefully. We have to elongate this for how many seconds? It's a mother tulka kabira here. How many seconds? Four. Excellent. Well done. And this is a dhamma. So how will we pronounce this? Bun. Ooh. Ooh. Good, well done. Once more, do you want to try the whole thing? Nasha. Ooh. Well done, much better, excellent. So try to take a nice deep breath before you read so that you can get that four seconds. I know it's quite hard to do a full four seconds, but we just that's what we're aiming for. So it would be Nasha. Ooh. Much better, mashallah. Well done. Excellent. Next one. Once more. This is a Hamza with a Dhamma. So this would be U. And what letter is this? Do you remember? A who? Excellent. Well done. And you would say it for how many seconds? Two. Two. Good, because this is an inverted thumb on top. Okay. Now, one thing, and I think a lot of people do this. It's not just you. So it's good that we're pointing it out now. When you have um, a Madatul Kabira on a letter, often you will see it on top of the Alif Madha. Okay, because this is a blank alif next to a letter which has a fatha on it, or after a letter which has a fatha on it. Okay, but the letter which you need to pronounce for four seconds is the letter with the stroke. 
okay? So whatever stroke is on the letter, if you have a blank alif afterwards, you don't pronounce the alif, you have to pronounce the letter with the stroke, yeah? So this one. So in this case, the letter with the stroke is the za, which has the fata. So you pronounce the za for four seconds, okay? Not the alif for four seconds, okay? Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So do you want to have another go at that one? Jaza a on to Uhu Uhu Well done. So once behind me. Jaza Uhu Jaza Uhu Excellent. Good. Well done. Next one. Tafta Uhu once more, I didn't, I didn't hear the last letter. Tafta'u. Well done, beautiful. Tafta'u, excellent. Next one. Naba'u. Excellent, good. Next one. Azun af. One second, one second. One second, Betty. This isn't zun, this is just zu. Okay? If it has a dhammatain, yeah, then veen of dhamma, then it would be un, okay? If it's just a single dhamma, then it's just azu. Azu. Good, well done, excellent. So let's do that one again. Azu afa u. Excellent, very good. That's difficult to do for four seconds because you've already read three letters beforehand. We're going to try once more, okay? Azufa, sorry, Azu Afa U Azu Afa U. Excellent, well done, good. Next one. Jadra U. Beautiful, well done, excellent. You read very nicely M1209, excellent. Just be careful that you look at the signs very carefully and just practice your four second elongation okay so you might need to take a nice deep breath when you're looking at the words think okay if i've got an extra long elongation there i'm going to have to recite for four seconds okay so just take a nice deep breath and that will help you when you're trying to do full words together without a break okay excellent okay. well done jazakumullah n1209 allah hafiz okay next student oh, um We'll have a next student in a moment. We're going to go on now. Um, so this is another rule, which is very, very similar to the rule that we've just um, completed. Okay. So the rule that we just looked at was the Hamza on a blank, on a vowel. And then this rule, we're telling you that sometimes a Hamza appears on a Ya with a stroke. In such cases, only the stroke or harakat of Hamza will be pronounced, ignoring the Ya altogether. So it's exactly the same thing. When you have the Hamza, the ya is just acting as the chair. You don't pronounce the ya, you only pronounce the hamza. Okay? Um, in particular, I want you to have a look carefully at this one. You've got your kasra, which is coming underneath your ya. And that sometimes can be confusing because you think, okay, but the kasra is under the ya, so I need to pronounce the ya. No, you need to ignore the ya altogether and you pronounce the kasra with the hamza. So it would be e. And it's the same again over here and over here, okay? So the ya is just a chair. It's just a support for the Hamza. You do not need to pronounce it at all, okay? So if we can have our next student, please. Yeah, it's 8115. Assalamu alaikum, 8115. How are you? I'm fine. Good, Alhamdulillah. You understanding the lesson okay? Yes. Excellent. Well done. Um, do you want to have a go? you want to start here? Okay. Okay. Albari you ya. Okay, remember we're not going to pronounce the ya. You have to imagine that there's no ya there. We're only pronouncing the hamza. Okay? So we'll try again. Albari Albari and then the Hamza oh. with the Dhamma. Well done. Excellent. Make sure you don't elongate that U. So it's Al-Bari'u. 
Albariu. Beautiful. Well done. Next one. Uri a. Excellent. Well done. Uri a. Well done. Next one. Dila ko. Dila well done e make sure it's a it's a hamza sound and not an ein sound okay so we need to be careful to make that distinction right well done and again when you're saying something which has um the mother to kabira on it make sure you take a nice deep breath so you can do the full four seconds okay next one What's the first letter? Mm, noon. Noon, well done. Nabir. 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 Well done, good. Next. Is to huzi a. Good, well done. This is a ha sakin. Okay, this isn't a dhamma on top of the ha. So you have to join this together. So once more, please. Good. 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 Well done. So you need to pronounce that ha, but you also need to join it to the letter before, which is a ta with a dhamma. Okay. Excellent. Well done. Jazakumullah. Thank you, A triple one five. Jazakumullah. Jazakumullah. Thanks. A double one two five. Assalamu alaikum, A double one two five. How are you? A double one two five. How are you? A double one two five. Are you there? Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Good. Good, Alhamdulillah. You understanding the lesson okay? Yeah. Excellent. So, are you ready to read this line for me? Yes. Okay. Once more. Okay, good. You need to make sure that we elongate this for four seconds. And this is a ya mother. So, we have to elongate this alif for how many seconds? Do you remember? Good, well done. So it's E two seconds. E da E. E da E. Well done, excellent. Next one. Good, very good. You made sure you elongated the alif there because there was the vertical fat on top and you elongated the noon as well. Again, just take a nice deep breath so you get the full four seconds, okay? Ana e. Ana e. Beautiful, well done. Next one. Hey. 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 Good, because you have to join it to the Hamza. It makes a very slight jerking sound. Hey, ye. Hey, ye. Good, next one. Yun, shi, yun, shi, Good. Well done. Yun, shi, u. Yun, shi, u. Well done, last one. Yu, ye, you, hey, ye. Good. You, hey, ye. You, hey, ye. Well done. So just be careful. Make sure you take your nice deep breaths before you elongate. And look at all of the signs very carefully when you're doing your recitation. Okay? Make sure you understand about your mother, your alif mother, your vowel mother, your ya mother, that you need to elongate for two seconds if they are there. All right? Excellent. Well done. Jazakumullah. A double one two five. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, good. So next, again. We have another rule, another simple rule, which is a blank vowel. Okay? So, similarly, sometimes vowel appears among letters, amongst letters without any mark, and will not be pronounced. Okay? So, if you have a blank vowel, don't be confused that it might be a vowel mother. Unless it has a sukun or a jasm on top, it's just a blank vowel. So, you don't 
pronounce the vowel in, this, in these circumstances. You just ignore it and you will not pronounce it at all. Okay, so if we have our next student, please, we can do the next line. Yes, A1134. Assalamu alaikum, A1134. Assalamu alaikum. How are you today? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah, you understanding everything? Yes. Excellent, so off you go. Okay. What's this letter here? The sword. Good. Two. Excellent. Good. Assalatu. Assalatu. Good. And make sure you, you round your, make your mouth round and serious because it's a sword. So it needs to be a thick sound. Assalatu. Assalatu. Good. Well done. Next one. Azakatu. Very nice. Well done. Azakatu. Azakatu. Nice. Excellent. Next one. Al Hay Hayatu. Nice, well done. Al Hayatu. Al Hayatu. Excellent, well done. Make sure you get that, that sound of the ha. Remember when we said you do ha on your glasses when you want to clean them and you want to make a mist on your glasses? So make sure you get that sound there. Excellent. Well done. Next one. Ha. Ka. Good, well done, excellent. You worked out the letters, you worked out the letters really nicely. Let me say it once for you, just in a bit more flow, okay? Nice, well done. Next one. Ulla, ulla, ika. Good, well done. Once more, make sure not to elongate this letter here. Ulaika. Nice, excellent. Jazakum double one three four. Very nicely read. Just make sure you elongate your letters properly. And as you're practicing, go through it once, recognize all the letters, and then say it again once in flow, because that's really good for your practice. Okay, excellent. Well done. Jazakum Allah. Yes, A double one double one. A double one double one. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Good. Alhamdulillah. How are okay. you? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Um, you okay to go for the next line? Yes. Excellent. Off you go. Ulil babi. Excellent. Ulu baki yasin. Good. Once more, a little bit louder because I can't hear you very clearly. Good. Well done. Make sure we don't elongate this letter. Okay. Gija. Gija. Good. Once more from the beginning. Ulu. Ulu. Good. Ulu. Bakijatin. Ulu bakiyatin. Good. Next one. And make sure you elongate this. Just stretch this out a little bit so it'll be thin because there's a thin vein underneath as well. Okay. Next one. Anajati. Good. Anajati. Anajati. Good. Remember when there's um, a shadda on the noon? So noon mushadad that we have to hold that sound for a second in our nose. Anajati. Anajati. Excellent. Next one. Salu. What letter is this? Sa'u. Sa'urikum. Good. Sa'urikum. Sa'urikum. Good. Next one. 
لا أصل لي بابكم بنكم بنكم لا أصل لي بنكم لا أصل لي بنكم Excellent. Well done. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much for your help. A double one double one. Jazakumullah. Right. Okay. And our last rule of today is the blank bend. Okay. So it says, sometimes a blank ya is written in the form of a blank bend. So it doesn't have its two dots. So normally, if this was a ya, like you can see this ya here, it's got its two dots. But if it's a blank bend it's basically a ya without its two dots okay amongst the letters of vowed with the haric word so all the other letters have signs strokes sorry on them yes and you just have this blank bend with no strokes and no dots okay this usually comes after a fata ishbia a vertical stroke a vertical fata where you elongate for two seconds Okay, so it usually comes after that. This bend should be ignored in the pronunciation. Okay, so again, it's about ignoring something which doesn't have any strokes on it and doesn't have any dots, right? So if we have our next student, please continue recitation. Yes. N1202. N1202. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Good. Good, Alhamdulillah. You understand the lesson okay? Yes. Excellent. So if we start from here. Ya Raha. Good, well done. Ya Raha. Ya Raha. Good, well done. Next one. Na Raika. Good, well done. Maswahu. Le very nice. You did your elongation really nicely in both of those. Good. Malana. Once more. Repeat this. Malana. No, the lam was correct. I just wanted you to repeat it so I could hear it again. Malana. Okay. You you said it. You said it perfectly the first time. But you just sounded like you were joining the meme to the lama a little bit. Everything else was fine. Your timing was fine. So I just want you to repeat it exactly as you did the first time. But make sure you say the meme separately. Once more, please. Malana. Good. Malana. Both two seconds. Malana. Very nice. Well done, mashallah. Off you go. Next one. Arani. Arani. Good, well done, excellent. Next one. Uh, oh, sorry, Ex I'm very sorry. I need to I need to correct something here. Um, it is not in your uh, the book here, but there is a typo. There's two typos, in fact. Both of these words. over here. There should be a um, there should be a, a jazm, a schoon. Okay, and here as well. Okay, when um, this is in the book, so I have it in the book in front of me, but on the print, in, on your version here, it's not written in. So we have to say that this would have a jazm on it, so it would be a vowelin here. Okay, so it would be maulana. Maulana. Good, well done. And if you have your copies of the books, if you've got the copy of the book, and even if you don't, make a note, please, or ask a parent or somebody to make a note. It should have um, a jazm on it. The, the vowel here should have a jazm on it, okay? I have so the book. Vowel. You have the book? So make a note in the book with a pencil, and you can put a little sukoon on top of this, okay? So it would be maulana. Maulana. Good, well done. And again here, there should be a jazm on the ya as well. So it would be arani. Arani. Well done, excellent. Good, next one. Atkakum. Good, well done. Make this a little bit rounder, a little bit thicker, this off. Okay, once more. Atkakum. Beautiful, well done, excellent. Jazakumullah N1202. 
جزاك الله الله حافظ الله حافظ and next student please and next is n n1222 and n1119 together n1222 and n1 n1119 1119 excellent yeah, so if fine. we do assalam alaikum how are you both i'm fine my sister's gone somewhere else she's not here today no she is she's she's just in a room okay so if you start then we'll read three words and then when your sister comes back um she can read the last three okay off you go from here ya raha okay we're at this is the bottom line now okay one second over here darani okay remember this is a ya mother so what do we need to do here we have to elongate for 2 seconds okay so once more tarani good what well tarani tarani nice next one naj najwa kum good well done so make sure you just keep for the 2 seconds najwa kum najwa kum good next one me me kala good well done make sure you do this again for 2 seconds because we've got the yama the here so it'd be me kala me kala good is your sister back yes excellent so if she can read the next three <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Are you understanding the lesson okay? A little bit. A little. Okay. Do you want to have a go at this and if you have any trouble I'll help you through, okay? Have a go here. Do you want me to read it first? Yes okay so this is a alif so it would be a a good a ta ha a ta ha 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 good well done a ta ha good and this is fa wa fa hu fa wa fa hu fa wa ka hu good ha wa hu wa wa hu good good try excellent try just keep keep practicing okay keep practicing with your mom or with your older sister or with your dad or whoever else is around keep practicing your letters keep practicing your recognition and then shall you get there as well okay jazakumullah jazakumullah to both of you ala hafiz ala hafiz okay excellent so basically we've covered four rules today each of them are telling us what to ignore right so if you've got your hamza on a vowel or your hamza on a ya you ignore the vowel and you ignore the ya if you have a blank vowel in your text you ignore the blank vowel and if you have a blank bend in your text you ignore that as well okay so that was our lesson for today in terms of a new rule that we needed to start we are now going to go on to our listening to our quran recitation and practicing our quran recitation so i'm going to play um the next um section which is the first ruku of surah bakra chapter 2 verses 1 to 9 okay so if everybody can listen carefully and then we will do some recitation after that bismillahir rahmanir rahim 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ألف لام ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وبالآخرة هم يوقنون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وبالآخرة هم يوقنون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون إن الذين كفروا سواء عليهم أأنذرتهم أم لم تنذرهم لا يؤمنون إن الذين كفروا سواء عليهم أأنذرتهم أم لم تنذرهم لا يؤمنون ختم الله على قلوبهم وعلى سمعهم ختم الله على قلوبهم وعلى سمعهم وعلى أبصارهم غشاوة ولهم عذاب عظيم وعلى أبصارهم غشاوة ولهم عذاب عظيم Right, good. So if we can have our first student, please. You started um, listening to the Quranic recitations before as well, yesterday, I think. And you just need to go through and I'll help you along wherever you need it. Okay? So yes. N1211. N1211. As-salamu alaykum. As-salamu alaykum. As-salamu alaykum. How are you today? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm well as well. So you understand what you need to do now? Yes. Good. Take your time. Go slowly and just try to to read along the line okay make sure you are mindful of all the rules we've re- we've listened to and we've heard and we've read and we've learned so far and um, just keep them in your mind as you're reading and try to make sure you apply all of those okay off you go Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. good well done Alif Lam Mim. Okay, good. One second, just stop there for a second. I want you to be careful here. Let me get my highlighter. Um, is this a thick sound or a thin sound? Thick. Thick, good. So we have to be careful that we don't say it with a thin keen, with a thin calf, like this one. We have to say it with a thick calf. Keen. Okay, so just start from here, from this um, ha here. Good. Very nice, well done. Next, carry on. 
Ladi yo minu na. One second, one second, one second. You missed something here. One second, do that again. Aladina yo minu na bilgaybi vayuki muna salata pamimma razakna hum yon fikun. Well done. Excellent. Stop there. Again, you made this a little bit lighter on your sound. So you just need to practice that. I know that this is a, a good surah to, to start with, or good verses to start with, because lots of you know it already. But you just need to make sure that you do a nice thick sound with your qaf, okay, to make sure that we can differentiate between this qaf here and the one that you are reading, which is a qaf. Okay, so that was very nice recitation. Well done. Beautifully recited. And uh, one, two, double one. Excellent. Jazakumullah. Now it's N1, two, three, five, and A, double one, two, six together. Assalamualaikum, N1, two, three, five, and A? Double one, two, six. Excellent, good. So um, we'll listen to both of you. And we'll start with N1, two, three, five, please. Okay. Wa alaikum aslam. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Are you understanding everything okay? Yes. Excellent. Well done. So, do you want to have a go at doing this next um, verse for me, please? Walazina yo minuna bima bima unzila. Ilaika vama unzila min kabalik vapil akhirati hum yukinun. Very nice, beautiful recitation. Very, very nicely read. Okay, um, if you can just read the first section for me again once more. Vala Vala Z Vala Z That's it, much better, much better. Once more. Vala Z na yo minu na Good, excellent. Because when you read it the first time, it sounded a little bit like you were saying vala. So you need to make sure that when there's a shadda that you join it and you really harden it and then you corrected it yourself. And you corrected it and you said it properly. So that was really good, mashallah. Well done. So it's Walladina. Walladina. Good. Excellent. Well done. Jazakumullah. That was beautiful recitation. Let's go on now to um, your brother. Is it A double one two six? G. Yes. Okay. Um, if we start here, and then let me make this a little bit smaller. So that we can get both pages on. Okay, can you see that? Okay. Yes. Excellent. Off you go then. Ula ka ala. Ula ka ala. Hudam mir Rabbihim wa ula ka humul muflihu. Very nice. Well done. And you corrected yourself again at the beginning, which was really good. Do one more verse for me, please. Inna kafaru sabaun alayhim wa anzartahum wa anzartahum amlam dunzerhum la very nice. You were applying all the rules very nicely there. Um, you elongated correctly. You had your alif mother, you made sure you elongated there. You made sure you did the long elongation over here as well. Can you recite this verse once more for me, please? This whole verse. Okay. Stop there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Stop there for a second. So make sure you make that nasal sound on the noon here. Okay, because this is a noon guna, noon mushadud. So you have to stop and make a sound from your nose for what, two seconds there. Inna ladina. Once more. Good, carry on. Kafaru sabaun alayhim 
Very nice. Jazakumullah A1126. Excellent. Well done. Um, can we have um, Assalamualaikum to both of you? Assalamualaikum. If we can have our next student, please. Yeah, it's N1229. Assalamualaikum N1229. How are you? I'm fine, Alhamdulillah. How are you? I'm very well, Alhamdulillah. You understand what you need to do now? Yes. Excellent. So if we start here, please. خاتم الله على قلوبهم وعلى سمعهم وعلى أبصارهم غشاء وطن ولهم عذاب عظيم Good, excellent effort. Well done. You tried really hard to make sure that you were doing all the rules properly. I'm just going to read it through once more. So start again from here. Okay, stop there for a second. Okay, how many seconds do we need to do this one? One second. One second. And you need to make sure you remember that this is a thick sound. So we will not say kha, we will say kha. Okay. Yeah, make your face a little bit serious, make your fa- mouth a little bit rounder, and it's ha, ha, tama, ha, tama, la, good, ha, tama, la, hu, ha, tama, la, hu, good, carry on, a, la, ku, lu, bi, him, wa, a, wa, a, la, sum, sum, i, he, Good, well done. So again, make sure you need to work on your ayn sound a little bit. Okay, so again, this is all for practice. So you're reading it very nicely, mashallah. You're trying to apply all the rules, making sure you elongate properly. But these are just the sounds now that as you're practicing, you keep working on and then they will keep improving. Wa'ala. 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 Beautiful, well done. Sam'ayhim. Some e him. Some I him. Some e him. So what we do is like when we said before about timing, when you time and you record yourself on a mobile, if you record yourself saying different letters, you can hear back and see whether you sound differently when you're saying an alif or an ayin, for example. Okay? Or a qaf and a kaf. Right? So as you practice and as you listen to yourself, you'll start to recognize where you are saying letters differently and then it's easier for you to understand the recitation as well because you know, oh, that's not an alif, that's an ayn because you'll hear the difference in the sound. Okay, excellent. Carry on. Okay, one second. One second, stop there. Wa'ala, it's the lam which has the mother on top. Okay? Mother to Sagira. So, Wa'ala, Abu Sarihim. Wa'ala, Abu Sarihim. Good. Risha, Watun, Wa'lahum, Azabun, Azi. Azim. Good, well done. Azabun Azim. Azabun Azim. Good, well done. Remember again, we said about this letter. Again, this is a dal. Dal. If you're saying the word this or that, you make a slight th sound. Yeah, dal. And this is zo. Right? So that's how you recognize the different letters. So even when you're listening to recitation, you will start to understand, oh, okay, that must be a dal. Oh, okay, that must be a zok. Right? So then you'll understand the, the different sounds the more you practice these letters. Okay? That was very nice. Excellent effort. N1229. Um, um, Jazakumullah. Thank you so much for your help. Allah Hafiz. Oh, it's okay, A1106. A1106. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Fine. How are you? 
I'm very well, thank you, alhamdulillah. Okay, so if we start at the beginning again here. Good, well done, excellent. And um, once more, recite from here. The little Okay, so this is just something that you will need to learn later on. We haven't done this in the class yet, but when you have these two signs here, this one and this one, you remember when we did vakf? Okay, so these are some of the symbols that show me when we need to do vakf, when we need to make a pause or a stop. And if we have these two signs together like this, these three dots, right? We either have to stop here or we have to stop here. Okay, we have to do a vakf at one of these points. So if we said, la reiba fi, okay, that would be correct because then we would be stopping at this point here, right? So once more, and make sure you do your vakf here. Off you go. Fee. Good. Make sure you, you make sure you do your yamada here. Fee. Good. So you elongate this here. And you have your ha, which you add on at the end. Fee. Fee. Good. Well done. Excellent. Carry on. Good, well done. I noticed what a couple of times there you said then, but then you corrected it because you saw the lam with the shadda, lam shadda here. So remember, if you have a tanveen and then the next letter has a shadda on it, you need to not pronounce um, the tanveen sound here. You would just say, hudalil mutaqeen. Hudalil mutaqeen. Good, well done, excellent. Jazakumullah, thank you so much. Allah Hafiz. Now if I have A1107. Assalamu alaikum, A1107. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? Good. Good, alhamdulillah. So can we start from here, please? Okay. Laz. Alladheena. Allazina yu'minuna bima unzila. One second, one second. You've missed, you've missed a section. Bil. Bil. Ghaibi. Bil ghaibi. Wa, wa yukimuna salata. Okay, one second, right. If you would do it once with me, okay, just recite after me and make sure, because again, this is something a lot of us have learnt, so sometimes there's mistakes, so we need to rectify those and make sure that we're reciting correctly, okay? Alladheena yu'minuna Alladheena yu'minuna Minuna. Good. Make sure we do this for two seconds. Yo minuna. Yo minuna. Bil ghaibi. Bil ghaibi. Wa yuqimuna salata. Wa yuqimuna salata. Good. We have a ya mother here as well and a vowel mother here. So both of those need to be elongated for the same amount of time, two seconds. Wa yuqimuna salata. Wa yuqimuna salata. Wa mimma. Wa mimma. Razaqnahum. 
رزقناهم ينفقون 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 Good. Make sure you don't elongate this fee. It's just one second. Yunfiqoon. Yunfiqoon. Good. Excellent. Well done. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much, A1107. Well done. Allah Hafiz. Okay. So we have been through this uh, one and a half times. Okay. So we've been through the... the rules that we did today and through the first rukoo of surah bakra again it is one that lots of us have learned we know by heart sometimes there are things that we might need to rectify for some of us that may just mean that we need to make sure we show the difference between similar sounding letters like kaf and qaf okay for some of us we may need to be careful about our elongation so again it's all about practice we are not going to be perfect immediately we just keep on trying keep on trying keep on improving and that's where we will get our blessings because we are making an effort to improve ourselves always okay so again just recapping what we did in today's lesson quickly we have looked at all of our different bends or blank letters ignoring letters while on hamza we ignore our vowel here again sorry hamza on vowel we ignore our vowel here and just pronounce the hamza and the hamza will even have a dhamma or a dhammatain a tanween okay we have looked at again hamza on a ya again we only pronounce the hamza we do not pronounce the ya it's a blank ya it's just being used as a seat again we looked at a blank vowel again something we do not pronounce and finally we looked at a blank bend right again something we are to ignore and not pronounce right so we've been through all of those i want you all please for your homework just to go over and practice today's lesson work on your fluency work on your timing and your similar sounding letters as well and we are now going to move on to our final dua so if we can have a student to help us please it's n1215 Assalamu alaikum and 1215 Assalamu alaikum Wa alaikum assalam how are you I'm good how are you I'm fine alhamdulillah do you understand everything in today's lesson okay Yes excellent so if you can recite from here for me please Okay or would you like to recite after me I recite it Okay Yes I was going to share the energy this way Allahumma arhamni bil Quranil Azim Good and the translation Oh Allah have mercy on me through the great Quran. Good. Allahumma arhamni bil Quran al-azim. Allahumma arhamni bil Quran al-azim. Good. Well done. And we're going to now go on to our second line of this dua as well. So, from here, do you want to have a go? Um can you recite it yes of course waj'al huli waj'al huli imaman wa imaman wa nuran wa nuran wa hudan wa rahma hudan wa rahma and the translation and make it for me the leader the light the guidance and the mercy excellent well done jazakumullah to everybody who participated in today's class make sure you all keep practicing you do your homework nicely and inshallah we'll see you again next time allah hafiz assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh